out look at this man the tires are squishy i think they really need some air so a lot got done really fast and i'm not really trying to really stretch for any speed records or anything i just you know we gotta get done before summer i guess and i'm well ahead of schedule when you compare it to last year's airplane anyways i think we need more space in here but look at that the aero light it's done uh Actually, I guess it's been done. It just, it runs. Let's take this to the airfield because I finally have a hangar now. Take this outside. This isn't working. Well, we're only running on half the voltage. Maybe we should go get another battery. Ready? Yeah. Hey Sam, you should try this thing. It's actually really fun. Oh, my landing gear, Sam. I didn't Whoa. put the spreader bars in there yet. Yeah, that's another thing. I'm gonna put some bars here. So don't freak out just yet, because the landing gear is a little softer. Actually, no, it's, thicker. it's much thicker metal this time and much shorter, so it should pull it much better. So here's your rudder test, the rudder. Oh, that's
Okay, so that was totally fun. The taxiing actually works really good. I actually have a steerable terrible on this thing for once. So I think this is going to be part uh, I don't remember the parts right now. But anyways, these ultra videos have been doing super good, so or have not been doing super well. So this will probably be the last one for a while. But anyways, the fuselage is done, except for the actual main welding. It's just tack welded at the time, because I'm not a super expert at TIG welding, and I don't really want to risk my life to, you know, my half baked welds. Half baked, I guess, because you know you need good penetration to make the welds so they don't break and fall apart and planes that fall apart later and I die. But anyways, yes, this is the final configuration. I did notice some people talk about some plane, some things with like the design that they're worried about. And yes, I'm very aware of the pitch power coupling that happens here. That was the reason why I did this over here with the whole model. This didn't actually crash. This this fell off the tank and then broke the nut, the nose off. Of. But because of the plane here, which is what some people's talking about with pitch power coupling, is when I apply throttle because the center of mass is somewhere down here and the prop is up there. When I apply power, it's gonna to try to shove the nose down. And obviously that's not good at lower altitudes or an install, or actually that could be beneficial in a stall. <laughs> hey, stop that. But anyways, okay. But the thing is uh, with this, I did not actually notice that being much of an issue because applying full power while straight and level at a normal flying speed, the plane just accelerates with the... Very slight nose down tendency and then starts gaining altitude because of the T-cell, that's the whole reason I have that up there. And also, having the wing shoulder mounted right here puts the center of pressure from when you, I, when you total blow up all the cross-sectional area of all this stuff. It's probably somewhere about here, so the prop is still above that, so when I apply power, there's always gonna be a slight nose down tendency, <coughs> but it's not too much of an issue. You can just cut there for a second. Don't film that, film this. But anyways, some of you may probably actually notice that this is the actually control uh, gimbal system thing from the second ultralight. And it is because the second ultralight is no more, as you can probably see. It's not mounted to the wall if you're behind my cargo plane. So that thing pretty much gave all the good bits. I just recycled the rudder pedals. I haven't put the uh, rudder tensioners in. I keep the cable from slacking so they don't you know, flip off lower the place. That's not done yet. But anyways, this is the strong gimbal. It's, a, it's actually just a push-pull rod. So it goes up, it, uh, it starts here, it goes through a little sleeve to keep the, um, once it compresses by pushing the nose down, it'll, it'll press the rod, and that forces the uh, tail movements back. So pulling up puts tension on the rod. Tension is usually easier for me to do in this case because there's a strong tension on that piece of aluminum. Hey, stop fighting. But anyways, then we have the belt crank back here. That's all made out of eighth inch uh, aluminum up to the uh, elevator here. I intended to do uh, cables up here down to a push-pull rod, but instead I thought, what is that? Why don't you do just the whole push-pull rod? It's lighter and simpler than the cable. Well, actually, the cables are probably a little bit lighter, but in my case, this is really light-ish weight, and it's pretty simple, and I can see everything, and it's easy to kind of inspect before every flight. So, we could do that. And don't freak out yet if you're noticing that there's some stop nuts on these and cotter pins and some things, and lack of cotter pins and some things, it's not gonna be like this. I have to tear this entire thing apart first, and I gotta paint a few slosh. That will come after the guy welds it. So I think that's where we're at for this one. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess the fuselage is done. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, the landing gear, don't freak out about that just yet, because some people are already freaking about in my Instagram posts. I posted these. The landing gear is, flex, is flexing right now just a little bit. Not a whole lot. What I'm doing with it. Well, uh, I'm working with it. But anyways, this is the land gear from the second one. And if you all probably figured out by now that if you've been subscribed to these ultralight build videos, that that land gear didn't work out so well. And the reason was because the battery slipped back, hit my rudder pedals, and the plane started to ground loop, and obviously I had no control with that. And these just kind of got, well, it's kind of really hard to do, got compressed when it got side loaded. And what happens is one of the landers just simply folded under the airplane, it just fell over on its side. 
Now this is an uh, is quarter inch C61 aluminum that's pretty long and it has really stupid long landing gear. I really should have adjusted that before trying to fly it. But anyway, that landing gear is much shorter on this current airplane and that's a uh, 3 8 inch thicker aluminum. And I've even yet to put the spreader bars in it because what I'm gonna do is put the spreader bar to one side and one to the other side so that this thing can't actually compress in a side load if I were to actually get it in the ground loop condition. So that should be nearly impossible. It's, I'm pretty happy with it as of right now, especially the taxi testing, but I still gotta add about another 70 pounds to the airframe before we actually get to flight readiness. Oh, also the weight of the airplane right now, it's around, what was it again? Around 80-ish pounds? Yeah, 80 pounds. Yeah, 88, it's probably somewhere around there. I think we did scale numbers, I'll put them on the screen here. But anyways, yeah, it's super light ish it's still lighter than all my other past ultra lights like that one that one's still heavier than this one and the second one was definitely heavier than both of them so i'm pretty happy with this this is probably going to be the last ultra light video you see for a little bit because we're going to go do some other side projects because these have gotten a little bit too much people don't seem to be watching these very much so i'm going to move on to more exciting stuff like some submarines and other things like that so anyways oh wait maker fair right we gotta talk about that yeah we'll be at maker fair yeah here you can the camera you talk about the maker fair when will be Maker Fair soon? So your presentation is Saturday the 18th at... Oh wait, I'm presenting? Yes. Oh yeah, I am presenting. Oh no, yeah. oh no. Zone 9 at the DIY Creator Content Stage at like 3.30 I think. You're coming on stage with me. Yeah, I'll just mind my own business. Okay, that's all for now. Oh my god, look, he's flying the airplane. Toby, fly the airplane.